Uh, welcome. So, because I've played uh, this game probably too much, um, well, I have been wondering what the highest speed possible is. How fast can you really go? How uh, can you achieve that speed efficiently without just making something that's completely broken? And well, this is mainly the series um, of vehicles where I've been attempting. So uh, let's first look at some early attacks. We'll just do a quick look. So um, while I was uh, making, I'm not actually, oh wait, I think it was the, um, while I was making this, I got the ultimate idea of making some kind of fast quick vehicle well it didn't go too well first uh, i tried with the fans uh, and a jet turbine a just completely normal jet engine with um, just the average stuff so it's basically um, just a, um, a intake a compressor and a combustor chamber and a turbine than a normal exhaust that's it um, but it didn't work out too well um, so it was then I realized that I could actually well stack kind of I could actually use multiple components and connect them so I ended up using um, this weird design um, and it's now when uh, stuff really goes crazy because uh, at this point uh, I just went wild um, so I made some interesting things to um, try to achieve a higher speed because first I got to Mark 1 which I thought was revolutionary uh, and it was but uh, well I wanted to go faster and it was like a brick wall I couldn't go faster at all so basically we have like um, this thing which is kind of strange but this thing as you can see um, actually became this thing so this is the same thing as as this one. You can see just this one, but just applied more of this, just stacked. Because if you look at the thing, but just more of them. And well, uh, we're going to look at that. But um, yeah, if you just look at all these designs I made, it just I just started duplicating more. But I went to higher and higher speeds. But it is um, kind of with this thing when things really went uh, out of hand. And if we just spawn this in quickly, um, we can see that um, this thing already lags a bit, but you'll see why. We have actually to turn off some stuff. Uh, yeah, we're gonna apply that. So it looks worse now, but you see why. Well, actually, it's going to take forever to... That was the one that could go Mach 44, which is 55,000 km per hour. But as you can see, a problem was that they started very slow. And I didn't know yet, yet, that you could actually just have um, electric uh, engines that could power and start the engine much faster. So essentially, then I made the same thing, but I just copied it three, like uh, two times. So as you can see, already by just opening the logic tool, it is laggy as fuck, uh, because there's so many of these parts that, yeah. And well, yeah, we're actually adding ones at all, because it didn't have one. So if we look at, there you see, now the lag really starts to coming, uh, to come, as you can see. And now it's kind of where the um, we just go kind of fast, you know, this this like pretty quick. Um, yeah, yeah, it's kind of quick. Um, it's I don't know what it's really doing, but um, we're actually gonna slow down so we don't die of lag because lag can definitely kill you, or it will just co explode my computer because holy sh aren't they even started? Wait, we weren't even running on full power. Um, I don't think so at least. Okay. So let's just hit the ground at mark uh, 2 billion and let's see what happens. It will probably explode. Have a bad feeling about this. Yep, that act as I had. So now this, uh, we should have all 8 engines. We, we do have 8 engines by the way. If we increase the speed now and then we just go out here. Kind of just hit the C at some high speeds. Okay, that wasn't what I um, wanted but I'm not sure where we are. Uh, no, yeah, we're probably in a different dimension. That could be like the um, the case. 
guess you know um, that's that's usually what ha what happens. It um, usually just teleports you to a different um, universe, and that that's not, nothing strange with that, by the way. Uh, if you it should be somewhere there. Okay, that there it is. Um, so we are we should be like uh, somewhere there we are. Okay, so this is like where it's supposed to be. So look at the coordinates, and as you can see, that's like the map is uh, somewhere around here I'm just gonna take the work pass but yeah it can go really really fast uh, but um, well that's not good where am I now okay so because that other one was completely fucking chaos and uh, warped us to a different dimension uh, I'm gonna test this one this is uh, another sign it doesn't use uh, yet turbines or something like that which the other one did. So this is a uh, much different and stranger design and um, well uh, I want like zero lag so this thing should be good then like it goes kind of fast you know 700 kilometers per hour and it basically doesn't like that much uh, still a bit but it's basically very fuel efficient since it doesn't have any fuel so uh, it only uses the pivots to uh, so the pivots uh, basically turn the suspension um, and force it to go forward and then that uh, makes it um, bug out and try to move the whole vehicle forward but you have to uh, have them in the like in the workbench facing uh, normally but I fixed that by just rotating them so they for face forward instead of up but well that was one design and it didn't really work as I had hoped um, so I started experimenting as hell uh, had designs like this. Uh, I had designed uh, this thing. Uh, yeah, this thing. It's kind of strange. Um, it looks really small and really simple. Like it shouldn't do anything. What is lagging my game? There's this thing lags like zero in a, like actually it doesn't lag. It doesn't lag anything. It's really uh, multiplayer friendly. So how you operate this thing is just to Engine. and then just look at the how the um, that's the something and that's it yeah yeah this is like pretty fast you know you can just warp into a different existence like, like it's it's kind of fast you know that's, that's just that's that's a lot of speed I I'm not sure what's happening I think I'm warping um, at what for is this going faster oh my god is this this isn't even supposed to be able to go this fast. Holy shit, that's not even... This is supposed to go like 9000 and this goes... Holy fuck, okay. Okay, I have to... I know my game is having a meltdown. But I don't care. My computer is as well. But um, if we just... Okay, pause. That's 48 thousand holy f you look at the map oh my god we are warping into a different dimension okay i have to stop this this isn't yeah i think we're uh, actually rebirthing the whole universe so basically this is um uh, because basically what i found was that why this works is because um let me explain this here by just showing you. Basically, here I have the almost the exact same thing, but with more fuel tanks. This goes only like about a thousand kilometers per hour. Why is that? Well, because um, why it went this thing went so fast? It's because the power to weight ratio is very strange in how Stormers calculates it. Because what I found is that. If you have, for example, a vehicle which is like just a uh, jet engine with just a lot of power and like nothing more, it doesn't weight that much, but um, it still has a lot of power. You have to have like about this weight, uh, and if you go like a bit above that, like it doesn't need much more, and we just bam, fucking crash into the floor. Um, because the power to weight ratio becomes just normal it's, but here it's just so insane but the other thing I uh, noticed my big ones could go Mach 44 they can't do that while flying they can only do that while they're underwater 
Why is that? Well, it's because of the fact that underwater, when you go at a certain speed, it just stops calculating the, um, the friction, so you can go extremely fast. Like control surfaces still still work, but friction and like all of that stuff, it stops existing. So it's basically kind of like waiting uh, nothing. It's basically the same thing, but you literally wait nothing because it doesn't calculate you as you exist. Either we can use this thing, which you can only use underwater, but you can still go very fast, and but they will still usually lag and they will be very hard to control. But I want to make an aircraft that can fly, then you have to kind of use these designs and stuff. But you know, they didn't really, really work as, um, as I had hoped. But this uses the fluid, which is also a very interesting thing because they uh, apparently, as far as I know, the more, like the more the more pressure, yet the more uh, essential power. So if you go very fast, you should get a lot more power. They should create more pressure in that space by releasing the water. Then you should take in that water and just should be an infinite loop, right? But the water you see coming out doesn't exist. There is no water coming out. So now, as you can see, we ran out of water. So there's no water in these tanks. This is also a design I um, got an idea of. When it detects that, oh yeah, it connects to, to that one. That one we instantly turn off. And that, uh, then of course it will be here then. So then it will be sucked to this one because this one will be turned off. So okay, and then instantly when it connects to that one, it will release it and be turned off. So then it will have to go to this one. And that's basically how it works. Although I have also been attempting man machines like this, uh, which is basically just me attempting to make the strongest engine possible. This thing doesn't work. I have no idea what's happening, but this thing should be strong, but it just isn't. It's just too big to actually comprehend the um, insane amount of stuff in it. It's just too big, too complex that the the game I think doesn't doesn't really like it. So it's kind of just no my usual main aircraft. I try to make aircraft that can go at least like mock speeds, like this thing. And uh, this is the uh, FL twenty eight. Um, so wait, this can go about about Mach one. Uh, but so can the FL40. That's because I basically just have really big engines. And as I said, if this thing would have a weight of zero, this thing would be fast as hell. This would be about like Mark 10 maybe. So I've also been planning on how can I make an aircraft that essentially is weightless? Can I cheat it somehow? Well, I have not come to a conclusion yet uh, about that because basically I don't I don't know how to even find such a glitch which could basically make make a vehicle weightless. But I'm trying to make uh, different parts that connect to each other with electric connectors. But no, it doesn't work. Also, try with about any other like all of the connector thing. None of them works. There's probably a way to do it, but I can't figure it out. Um. I can't come up with an uh, idea that actually works. So right now I'm just working. It's chaos. Wow, it's so fun to make stuff in Storm I have no idea what the fuck. Uh, but yeah. Oh, uh, this microcontroller. Yeah, I've just been trying to go through this hell. Uh, yeah, this was pain to make, but yes, don't, don't ask. I think my computer is uh, running low memory. So, well, goodbye.